hello guys it's Mickey welcome to my channel and if you're just into my channel please subscribe turn on the notification bell so you can be notified each time there's an upload coming from me well today I'm gonna to be talking about sunscreen lotion how to make sunscreen lotion most of my subscribers and even my uh, clients do not know that you need to add sunscreen lotion into your base cream and into your already made lotion uh, due to the fact that they think um, since it's company made, there's already um, sunscreen lotion in it. Well, yes, there is, but most times the sunscreen lotion added into that uh, industrial product is just not enough to help um, shield you from the sun. Like, for example, the sun in Nigeria is crazily hot. Or should I? The sun in Lagos is crazy. So, um, what is actually better is for you to add um, a non sunscreen lotion into your base cream. Or into your uh, lotion as well and apart from that most people get to work under the Sun because I'm a, a client of mine told me she works under the Sun most of the time mostly I'm um, like almost half of the day she works under the Sun so that kind of person needs a lot of sunscreen lotion to help shield her from the Sun since the review of the Sun tends to destroy the skin it will darken you further and again most people suffering from knuckles and um, after uh, the knuckles have probably worked the knuckles serum sorry about that i probably worked or the cleanser have worked for your skin and then you notice um it's getting back to the way it was well it's not that the cleanser doesn't work or the cleanser never worked it did work at a point in time where it helped uh, remove your um the dark part of the knuckles but it stopped working because you kept taking it to the sun and you were not adding your sunscreen lotion you know when you when when you don't add sunscreen lotion to the knuckle it makes it vulnerable the sun gets to heat it and it becomes dark as well as much as your other skin also becomes dark so it's not that the um lotion or the serum or the cleanser stopped working no it never did stop working or it's, it's never it's not that it's uh, it was uh, like a false serum or false cleanser no it's not it just happened that you were not using your um, sunscreen lotion you know so a, a client of mine was telling me she was using a lightning oil for it no you're not supposed to use lightning oil to help maintain your uh, knuckle your knuckles you're meant to use sunscreen lotion to help maintain your knuckles since the sunscreen lotion will help shield it from the ravey of the Sun well I'm gonna actually tell you the um, ingredient that's gonna be used to make uh, our sunscreen lotion well, I'm actually going to be reading it out because I don't actually want to make mistakes in uh, most of the measurements and stuff like that. The measurements are really important. So I don't just want to be saying out of my head when I probably just forget one. I'll be like, oh, sorry, no. I just want to say it so you guys get to know. So the ingredient that will be needed is a cup of e-wax, half cup of stearic acid, um, one quarter cup of raspberry oil, half cup of carrot oil, two tablespoons of unrefined shea butter, one teaspoon of almond oil, and two tablespoons of zinc oxide powder. Well, the um, the recipe will be displayed on the screen right now, so you guys can actually see the recipe. And um, for most people who probably do not know how to make it, I'm going to explain how to make it for you. So I, I, I said something about e-wax going into the uh, lotion. So going to take one cup of e-wax and our stearic acid using a double boiler method or um, microwave method I think I've explained a double boiler method but uh, this is meant for my new subscribers who probably don't know what a double boiler method is a double boiler method is when you get an empty pot uh, you put water into the pot then you put uh, your plastic bowl or another pot on top of the water so that's your double boiler method and for people who have access to their microwave you can just make use of a microwave it's just easy you open your microwave and you set it to just five minutes when um, your almond oil is completely melted so you take that's one teaspoon of your almond oil and you put it in an empty bowl and you get your e-wax and your stearic acid and you allow it to melt into the bowl as well then you take it out you allow it to cool off a little bit then you add your unrefined shea butter after adding your shea butter you whisk it after whisking it for a while then you add your you don't you don't add your raspberry oil when it's still hot you add your raspberry oil when it's cool when it's a little bit cold not completely cold so you add your raspberry oil and you also add your carrot oil into it 
and you whisk it very well then after that you add your zinc oxide powder but be careful because the zinc oxide powder smells really bad so it's not really good when you inhale it and it has a very stench uh, smell so it's not always good when you inhale it so it doesn't get to um, affect your breathing or something like that so you just better you cover your your nose with a mask or something so you just add your zinc oxide powder into the mixture and you whisk it very well so that you don't have any um, exception of the powders being somewhere left and something like that so you have it together and you mix it very well after mixing it with your powder then actually you pour it into your container your empty container and that's your sunscreen lotion and the good thing about the sunscreen lotion is you can add it into any cream of your choice and even after mixing so many ingredients into your cream that you want to make um, as you use as your whitening cream or whitening base or something like that you can add your sunscreen lotion into it 60 ml most especially one the reason why we made use of the organic is you're making yours from the scratch and apart from that it's a uh, we made a cup and half cup so it's going to be much because you don't want to be using two teaspoon or three teaspoon and let me make just a little no you need to make a lot and it needs to be thick so you should note your sunscreen lotion is not meant to be watery it's not meant to be watery it's meant to be very thick because most times it might be even used as a thickener instead of gua gum so you can actually use your sunscreen lotion as a thickener for your cream if your cream is too watery can use your sunscreen lotion it tends to give it a little bit of body and a little bit of weight so um thanks for subscribing to my channel and um i want to thank my subscribers i love you guys like crazy i love you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and if you did enjoy my video you can just give it a thumbs up and um your comments are really nice if it's coming in you know and don't ask unreasonable questions like i should just give you my recipe for free come on that won't be fair so people do that that won't be fair at all and i'm not um, forcing you to also buy my recipe it's not a must but my recipe is not free so if you're expecting you want to have a glowing skin like mine or you want to have a white skin like mine i'm not going to give you for free it's not possible because i learned it also with a lot of money i learned mine physically not online with a lot of money so um thanks for watching my video and I love you guys. Bye.